To start a new drawing, click this drop down arrow, click new. And since I'm using millimeters, I'm going to use Akadiso 3D template for metric units and click open. I'm just going to adjust my window. So I'm gonna just going to drag this one sideways to accommodate my reference drawing. And I'm going to start working from top view. So at the top left corner of this window, you can find the viewport controls. And if you click that, you can find this one. So click top. And you can also go to view panel, click the drop down arrow and select top. All right. Now I'm going to draw a line from this corner to this corner, which is, which is the width. So type in L for line, specify first point, click anywhere on the screen, go sideways and enter 250 units. And inside the draw panel, click drop down arrow and select an arc with a start and radius options. So click this in point and this in point and for the radius enter 300 which is this one here. And as you can see here, the radii of the arcs have a common center, which is this one here. So I could just offset the top arc using this distance. All right, so I'm, get, I'm gonna use offset. So all for offset command, enter and enter 64.7 enter again click this object and click below that object I'm gonna draw a line for reference from the midpoint which is from this midpoint here up to the midpoint at the bottom so midpoint go downward and enter 404.58 And the width is 250 so I'm just gonna draw a line somewhere here 250 enter and move this one move from the midpoint and attach it to that midpoint now I'm gonna draw a line in point to in point another line in point to in point Now I'm going to offset these lines, these two, for 15 units, which is this one here. So all for offset, enter, and enter 15. Click this line, click inside that line, click this line, and click inside that line. Repeat offset, just accept 15, enter. Click this one and click above that line. Now I'm going to extend the arcs. So EX for extend command. Enter twice. Click this one. Again, EX for extend command. Enter twice. Select the object to extend and extend this one here. And press the shift key and erase that. Erase that. Trim that, trim this one, and enter. Now I could delete this one now. And for this hole here, the distance from the tip is uh, 20 units. So what I'm going to do is just offset. So all for offset, and enter 20. Click this arc, click below that arc. Click this arc and click below that arc. And the length from this point to this point is 60. So what I'm going to do is draw a line from the midpoint to midpoint. 
and offset all for offset enter and have half of 60 is 30 so enter 30 click this line click beside that line click this line and click this line aside i'm just gonna erase this one now i'm gonna extend these two lines so ex for extend command enter twice and just click that click this one and press the shift key to trim trim this one just keep on pressing down the shift key to continue trimming enter and i'm gonna delete this one now i'm gonna join the segments uh, but first i'm gonna join this one first so j for join command just window the whole thing and apply fillet for five units so inside the modify panel select fillet command right click select radius and enter five units select this arc and select this one repeat fillet you can also go down to the command window and select multiple click this one and click this one click this and this and enter now for this one you can also apply fillet for the inner one here and use 20 for radius so fillet right click select radius and enter 20. click this arc and click this line uh first it does that and i think i have to join the segments first before filleting and then fillet right click enter radius and enter 20. click this arc and click this arc here our line repeat fillet go down to the command window and select multiple hmm. undo click this one first and this line click this line and enter now this is one object i could also fillet this one first or I can do that when the 3D is um, done. Now, join again. So, J for join command. Select this arc, this line, this line, and this line. And this one is also one object. This one is one object. I'm just going to check. Now, bring your drawing to southwest isometric. And I'm going to extrude this one downward for looking from front view. The thickness is 22.5. So extrude this one. So inside the modeling panel, click this drop, this drop down arrow or just select uh, extrude command. Select this object. Enter and go downward for 22.5. Oh, before we proceed i'm just gonna turn off this grid before we proceed go down to the status bar and make sure your dynamic input is on polar tracking object snap tracking and object snap and make sure to work on parallel projection there all right oh i'm gonna bring this to top view first and change this to wireframe i'm gonna offset this one first this and the distance is uh, 4 from this point to this point. So, O4 offset. Enter 4. Click this object. Click inside that object. Now, I could bring this back to Southwest Isometric. And change this to maybe Shaded with Edges. Alright. Now, I'm going to poke a hole through this head here so you can use press pull command inside the modeling panel hover over that uh, hole left click 
release your finger, bring it down, left click again. And hover over between these two objects here. Okay, wait. I'm just going to change this to uh, X-ray maybe. Between, between these two. Or maybe wireframe. It's easier. So between these two. Use press pull command inside the modeling panel. Hover over. Once the object turns blue. See, you can put it in between. It turns blue. Left click. Release your finger and bring it down for... Wait. I'm going to check the thickness is from here. Looking from front view, it's three units. All right. Again, press pull command. Hover over. Once it turns blue, left click. Release your finger. Bring it downward for three units and enter. So if I change this to conceptual, you can tell the, you can see the indentation here. Now, I'm going to apply fillet for this side here, which is um, 20 units, this one, for the radius. So, go to solid, and inside the solid editing panel, select uh, fillet edge. Right click, and select radius option, and enter 20. Click this edge here. Press the shift key and the wheel of your mouse at the same time to move the object around. And click this one here. Enter and enter again. And for this side here, for the edge, for this one here, which is the edges here. Okay, I'm going to annotate and for radius, the edge is 1.5. Alright, so go to home or solid, select fillet edge again, right click, select radius and enter 1.5. Enter and uh, right click again, select chain. And select this edge here and select this one and enter do the same so fillet edge oops and AutoCAD remembers uh, the last um, radius so just click chain and click this edge here and this edge and enter and enter to accept just gonna change this to shaded with edges. There you go. And the next one to fillet is this uh, edge here, which has a red. Uh, no, this is also just give me a sec here. Looking from top view, I think the edge for this one is also radius. For this one here is also 1.5. All right. So go to solid, fillet edge, right click, and select radius, and in, and accept 1.5. Enter, and select um, right click again, and select chain, or you can go down to the command window and select chain, and click this edge here. Hmm. It's not working again. Fillet edge. Enter radius and enter 1.5. And um, select chain. And enter this edge. And I know what's the problem here because I think there's a line. Or there's um, 2D that is uh, on top of this because I use uh, press pull command. So what I'm going to do is move this one sideways. See these ones here? We don't need those. And it's interfering with the uh, fillet edge command. 
So fillet edge, right click, radius, and enter 1.5, enter, and go down to the command window, select chain, and click this edge here. See, it worked now. Enter, and enter again. There. See, I think this is better. So fillet edge. And AutoCAD remembers the last uh, value you entered. So just click this edge. Oh, wait. Again, fillet edge. Select chain inside the command window. Click this edge. No, not that one. I select the, the wrong one. So fillet edge. And uh, for radius, accept 1.5 and select chain. And select this one here not here but this one here there and enter and enter again to accept what else i think at the bottom we did that oh this one here fillet edge right click and select chain click this one here and this one and enter again Minimize this one, and maximize this window, and type in materials. And um, if you cannot see this one here, click this drop down arrow and select wood. And I'm just going to use this one, so bring this up, click that arrow, and just drag this one here and apply. And I think we are done. So if you want to adjust the grain or the, the size of the grain, you can click this uh, pencil and click image. And the size sample, you can change it to maybe 200 or you can increase it to 300 if you want. Enter and enter again. You can close this one or you can change the brightness you can make it darker if you want to and close and close and i think we are done so thanks for watching please don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon to get notified for the next tutorial and see you again